Let's just look up the mass of a racquetball. Here's the deal. I got this thing to go, I did work on it. I applied a force in my, and um, I applied a force to it. Well, it is an impulse, it is an impulse. So that is equal to an average force times the, is equal to the mass, the mass of the thing um, divided by, uh, or times, the change in velocity. Well, we already found the change in velocity. V final minus zero, and we found that V final was equal to what? 7.7 .7 meters per second? That the, that the throw actually moved. And this is a glassing over probably by now. You're going, what the heck is he doing? Bear with me, bear with me, because then we'll do it. I don't think I'll make you do this on the, exam, on, on, the, on the minute lesson, but here we go. Now watch, now watch. So, um, let's, Let's say that it took me um, 0.3 seconds to throw the ball up in the air, okay? Delta T is equal to 0.3 seconds. Okay, so then the force is equal to the mass, which is 0.864 kilograms times 7.7 .7 meters per second because it's the, it started off as zero, divided by out what that is. So the yeah. That's about right. That's in, that, that's point two, twenty two point two newtons of force. All right. Now, now, how far? Okay. So now what happened? So so here I'm back. This and then that point three seconds was the impulse that it that it went. And I want to know how far I pushed it. Well, how do we figure out how far it went? Well, we know this. We know this guy. Here's, here's the thing. We know that force, the work, and the work is equal oh, We compute, we know the mass of the thing. And so we've got the force, which is 22.2 newtons. All right, I just left this 22 there, which is equal to the 7.7 .7 squared. All right, this is the work. So the work is equal to force times distance, which equals to twice here. 22.2 .2 newtons is equal to 0.5, that's my one half, that's 0.864 times the distance. So if I plot and divide by 22.2, it's the kinetic energy because the initial kinetic energy was zero. And let's see what that is. And then this little nightmare will be over. All right, so we've got 0.5 times 0.8. 25.6. Okay, this is going to be kind of crazy because it's saying it went, I threw it over a meter. I, I, I think that my time of throwing it was probably a 0.1 seconds. In other words, I, I, I think we can divide that by two easily, if not more. It's probably then 0 0.05 seconds. But that gives you an. I wanted to get out of this was to remember that the work is the change. It's huge. Okay, so. Out here for this part.